A judge has denied bail for the two cousins charged with killing four young men in Bucks County. Cosmo DiNardo and his alleged accomplice, Sean Kratz, are facing homicide charges. DiNardo's confession led police to the bodies of all four men who disappeared last week. Three of the young men were found buried more than 12 feet underground in a tank on his parents' Solberry Township farm. The body of Jimmy Patrick was buried about a mile away at the top of a hill on that property. Our coverage begins this morning with Eyewitness News reporter Henry Rossoff in the CBS 3 News Center. Henry, good morning. Good morning, Jan. The four men were lured to Solberry with the promise of buying marijuana. Instead, they were shot, killed, and buried. After about five excruciating days of digging, they were all found. Dean Finicaro, Tom Mayo, Mark Sturgis, and Jimmy Patrick. It took the confession of one of the alleged killers, Cosmo DiNardo. Why'd you do it? He pointed prosecutors to the bodies and to an accomplice, 20-year-old Sean Kratz. The two refer to each other as cousins. Prosecutors say DiNardo now admits he and Kratz killed Finicaro, Mayo, and Sturgis together. DiNardo says he alone killed Patrick and buried him in a separate location on top of a hill. We now have them in a safe place so that they can soon be returned home. Kratz was arrested at his Northeast Philadelphia home and a second residence in Ambler was searched. His neighbors are still stunned. I can't believe it and I don't want to believe it. So far, there's been no indication of an apparent motive for the killings. The district attorney says his office will continue to work to give the families of the four men all the answers he can. I pray that I could handle this with the courage and the dignity that they have exhibited my I'm, I'm, I'm just in awe. DiNardo and Kratz were denied bail, both of them, and they're each charged with multiple counts of murder, conspiracy, and abuse of a corpse. Kratz, by the way, was already out on bail for a separate burglary charge. Live in the News Center, Henry Rossoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Henry, thank you.